OK, so the next one you guys want to look at. So, so far we talked about general factoring, right? You just take it and use your diamond problem and you factor it. Then we looked at looking for perfect squares because once you have a perfect square, it's pretty easy to do, right? The next kind of shortcut, Biore, which you want to look at, is what we call the difference of two squares. So just think about what that says. Squares, meaning you're going to be dealing with square numbers, right? Number squared, um, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225. Right? You guys should know all those, hopefully. So when we go through those, you guys want to look for those numbers. Right. You guys need to look for those because those are square numbers. So it's important that you guys recognize them. All right? I didn't just do that to just like make it magical. Like you guys need to know what those square numbers because if you can identify a square number, you can easily identify difference of two squares. All right? So first of all, we first look for can we factor anything out? No, there's nothing that these two terms share, right? But is this a square number and is this a square number? Is it a difference of two numbers? It's a difference of the two squares. Yes, difference is subtraction, right? So therefore, all we write that is, if it's x squared and a squared, all we can write this then as is x minus 9 times x plus 9 equals 0. Then, by using the zero product property, x equals 9 and x equals negative 9, right? Set them equal to 0, solve, you guys can get them. Yes? Factor it with what? You could also do it, well, let's take a look at that, right? Let's square root it. So x squared equals the square root of 81. You take the square root, right? What's the answer to that? Huh? Plus or minus 9, right? Remember, when you introduce the square root, you guys do that. So yes, it's a very, you can solve that as well. It's when uh, talking about solving, yes, you could easily just solve it like right there. I want you guys to understand, though, as far as the factoring, you need to understand the difference of two squares to go through that, OK? Now, let's take a look at this problem. You could solve that again, but let's look at it as a difference of two squares. Is there something we can factor out with this? Well, you could, and what I, would, what I would advise you guys to do is factor out a negative 1. Because right now, is this a difference of our, it is a difference if you rewrite it as our two squares. But what I would recommend is divide this out by a negative 1. Because we always want this term in front of your quadratic term, we always want that to be positive to make your So you want to write this down. So therefore, you have x squared minus 144 equals 0. Now, 144, is that a square number? You bet so. So it's x plus 12 times x minus 12 equals 0. Therefore, your solutions to your problem are x equals plus or minus 12. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, when you're going to be doing your factoring tonight, look for those types. OK? Tonight. Tonight.